world, my name is Maya Sundermeyer and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my blog series. So far I have shared my experiences with you of what it's like for me to live with autism. Other times I have given you my two cents as to what's going on with autism in the media and how things are done versus how they should be done or should not be done. And finally I like to use my blogs to talk about nerdy subjects and they'll become even more nerdy as time goes on. But right now, I am going to continue to talk to you guys about what it's like uh, for me to live with autism because uh, there are uh, people out there who are curious about uh, what it is like to live in uh, the shoes of someone who is on the spectrum. And I would like to uh, talk about an update of what's been going on in my life because you guys might be really interested and I happen to be uh, inspiring so many people. But anyway, I uh, wanted to mention that uh, back on the 18th of June 2014, I had posted a video about my frustrations of not being able to find a job due to the fact that um, I didn't have any skills in this area or that area. And I had also uh, mentioned my frustrations of uh, being kept down by our system. When I mean system, I mean the Georgia Department of Labor and the Vocational Rehabilitation System and how they looked at me from a negative light rather than a positive light and how the job coaches there were very discouraging. Well, guess what? I have some great news for you guys and I have been wanting to tell you for the longest time. So, uh, in early October, I ended up getting a text message from one of my other friends who is also on the autism spectrum. and It turns out that he's very social and uh, he's uh, gotten involved in a lot of uh, things with advocacy and he's also uh, wanting to follow in the footsteps or steps of Dr. Temple Grandin and uh, he ended up uh, networking with a woman who works at Georgia State University and by the way, first half, I uh, was a student there before and I'm getting ready to uh, go back to school at Georgia State University now. But anyway, she works at Georgia State University through uh, the Center for Leadership and Disability and uh, she had been wanting to hire a uh, candidate on the autism spectrum and uh, he, I was the first person that came to his mind because he knew I'd been looking for work and I had been uh, struggling to do so. so I ended up going in to interview and I ended up being very, very self-determined about it and I knew it would be a good thing since um, I was already a student at Georgia State University and I thought um, how nice it would be to use my associate degree in psychology and uh, go and work uh, there. And I thought that I would just be doing original clerical work. Well, she found, or I found out when I went on the interview that one of the biggest jobs right now that I am supposed to be doing is I'm uh, contacting organizations across the state of Georgia and I am mapping autism resources. That is one big area. Another thing I'm learning how to do is, I mean, I'm networking with all kinds of uh, psychologists and all kinds of uh, executive directors who I've known from the past. and. I am also um, helping to facilitate something called the Autism Advisory Council and we meet about four times a year and go over how the process of the Autism Plan for Georgia is going. Um, here's another really, really big project. I have also been involved in a planning committee for a brand new autism conference which is taking place next week down in Macon, Georgia. And the biggest area that I'm working with right now is uh, the volunteer program and my big th my big thing with that is I started learning how to design the backbone of uh, the volunteer program for the autism conference and of course um, my supervisor ended up uh, having another one of my coworkers uh, slash colleagues slash student assistants and she is helping to uh, plan the back, not the backbone, but she's doing all kinds of other planning that she has lots of experience in. So uh, if you guys have any questions or comments about this, please be sure to comment below. And if you're inspired by this, please be sure to share this with your friends and with your family members. And please also be sure to uh, tweet this on Twitter and on Tumblr and on YouTube. And also, please help my videos to go viral. So, until next time, I'm Maya Sundermeyer, and I'm signing off now. And before I forget, don't uh, do not forget to su 
subscribe. So bye.